Welcome to the third lecture on ethnographic research. I am so delighted to welcome you and have you in this class. Let's talk about ethnography and qualitative research. And we have uh, theoreticians, uh, Norman Densing and Ivona Lincoln, the discipline and practice of qualitative research. And uh, you have heard already about the Chicago School several times. We will move forward and we will get uh, to the place uh, where we want to focus. There is, there is a need for us to understand uh, very simple ideas. I give you plenty of information and some repetition, which is the mother of all learning, repetition. Uh, I want at this time to focus on the importance of interpretation. And this is covered in the PowerPoint, if my memory serves me well. Let's stop right here. So the paradigm theory, positivistic and post positivistic. The criteria, internal and external validity, the form of the theory, the logical deductive grounded, the type of narrative, scientific report. Versus the constructivist, trustworthiness, credibility, transferability, confirmability, substantive formal is the theory, interpretive case studies, ethnographic function. This constructivist is the most common postmodern way of thinking in ethnography. I am not as comfortable with it. I want to be more grounded on theory. So although I am postmodern, I want to do ethnography with a particular set of theoretical frameworks. I am not comfortable with the idea of free flow, free flow thinking. I'm just describing for the sake of free flow like you are writing poetry. But I am not here to give you value uh, about this or that. Feminist uh, thinking is a particular framework that you may use when you are thinking of what theory do you follow. And there are many criteria in feminism. Uh, Carol Gilligan gives us one that I am familiarized with and comfortable with, uh, introducing the cognitive psychology way of thinking of females for the purpose of making judgment in practice of morality. Uh, but the point is that you have to choose what theory you're following. And there is an ethnic theory based on different groups of race or class. And there is also Marxist economic based theory. You're going to use a theory in your analysis and you want to be aware of it and it need not be any of this. These are examples. Cultural studies uh, is a popular one. Queer theory has to do with the value of uh, analysis of gender in other than male and female, to go from the most general perspective. And all of this uh, frame the process of choosing a theory, and that is something that you must do. Uh, be aware of what theory you're going to use. That's the purpose of this particular lecture and I want you to focus on choosing it. You need help? I guess I gave you the number already, 909-382-1912, call me. Let's talk about it. If you feel confused, if you have no idea how to analyze your interviews, of course, at the time that you're viewing this lecture, you are still not collected interviews, but I want to make the point now. You are not alone, regardless of our separation with space. We, you are not alone. I am with you. I am the resource. But can I read your mind? Yeah, the answer is no. 
text me, call me, call me. If I don't answer, text me. We will get in contact. I will be with you. We will be together. Thank you.